everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be playing the wolf among us episode five this one is titled cry wolf we are finally at the last episode um i think i started playing this sometime last year or the beginning of this year so to finally be at the end is kind of crazy um and it's the end of the year so i feel like this is perfect timing um anyway i hope you all have been enjoying this series and yeah let's get started i mean your eyes and the teeth you're not really supposed to do that are you <sighs> Not if I can avoid it. No. Holly's sister, Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh, God! Big B! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Episode 5, Cry Wolf. You've come a long way. You must be tired. <sighs> I'm finally here. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. What are you pulling that out for? What? Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? No, thank you. Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. <laughs> really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's right, not a... Mr. Like... Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Oh, he's just mad because we got into a fight at his well, store. Sheriff, <laughs> for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying, you're destroying this, this town. town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fabled Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. Oh, really? How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man. Well-moneyed. 
People do like to take their shots at me. You're right that there's a conspiracy, but you're the one behind it. Mm. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand the confusion, and I'm truly sorry about do you the trouble though? all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late. I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. I don't know who did it. You really don't need to worry yourself further. An unfortunate bit of business. You're going to tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I, I have genuine, complete I don't respect know. for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You can, though. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. Well, if you had no, it under control, I'm stuff gonna wouldn't deal have with it in the first right place. now. Yeah, right. Okay. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Tweedledee, please. I'm already pissed off. You don't want to make it worse. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than a enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but yeah. in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. What? However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit what? down. Now. That doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Georgie. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, yeah. The fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my Mostly because I'm confused. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you told me to, to kill him! me for it. What were the initial orders? You will be silent. For him to misinterpret. Or we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis! You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? Y'all are messy you and can I'm have confused. Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Messy. Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under the guys. fucking carriage? No deals. It's over, so get up. I'd advise against that approach, Big B. You can't just hand me over! What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us! For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one who... Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, <laughs> Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm me. going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit. Alright, but relax. he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Why would hey, I what leave? the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all what? go down this shitter with oh, you? I told you. I'm not going anywhere. This could have gone so well. Listen. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh gosh, please. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Please go away. <laughs> Oh, no. I didn't come here with any backup at all. 
Take this. Oh. You're done, Wolf. Come on. We're pretty much done here. Oh, brother. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Please get off of me. Oh. Well, now he got beef with you because I didn't do that. Ooh. Oh, God. This way. What? Uh, should we go through the portal? Okay. Oh my Come god. On, okay. Oh shit. I know. I know. Your ability to keep track of where they're going is impeccable. Shit! Fuck! What was that? Me. Hello. Really? Take him off! I can't! Don't they just stop the car? Not like that. <laughs> I did say stop the car, but I didn't mean <laughs> to throw me off of it. Oh. Gun it! Are you sure? Don't you dare. Do it! He's not moving. Keep going! Oh, fuck! Oh, Come on, all I had to go here, where I would have been able to find you anyway. I thought they were going to, like, a hidden place or something. Oh, my bad. Holy shit. Well, I mean, we stabbed him, so... Come on! We can't stay here! Hang on! I need a minute. Okay. 
How did this happen? Can you stand up? <clears throat> it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. <clears throat> oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. Well, it won't be your fault. <clears throat> It'll all land on me in the end. But it isn't. No, it's... Here. It's good. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Shit. Hello, Bigby. How you doing? I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of yeah. course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff. Had to say goodbyes first. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. <sighs> you gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, sure. I it don't... isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. She said what? mistakes. He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking... mean- ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ugh. I did what I had to! What? You can't fucking blame me for that! Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told! Okay, then it what comes the back to bite you in the ass though? because some good-for-nothing crooked bastard decides you're not worth shit anymore! Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? Please tell me. Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course... The big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> so he told me to take care of it. You okay. think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. Okay, but and then he it, fucking though. sold me out. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Fine. Believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true I or mean, not. I all of y'all are in the wrong. I don't really get what this whole, like... Go ahead and arrest me, then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. No, I it must still be so easy the being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. <sighs> But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Coming here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. Stop complaining and take responsibility for what you did. You murdered Faith and Lily. You put those fucking ribbons around their necks. You had the power to let them go, but you chose not to. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... Is now really the time to be stopped? What would you have me do? Explain. Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if Free and Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? What are you talking about? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. Oh, she I used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. What? You're not innocent here either. How could you do this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. 
That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the Crooked Man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> if you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. I mean... What are you doing? Kill Break her? the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. I'm not playing this game, Georgie. Right, I what? won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't oh. really... Vivian, I'm, I'm gonna not gonna you. kill you. <laughs> I know that. Oh, Wait. Well, right. I'm sick of everyone thinking oh. that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, don't... Vivian, do that, wait, please. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? No. Vivian, don't! No. Oh. Goodbye, Vivian, Georgie. no! Fuck! No, 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 no! Why do you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Just... Jesus. Okay... Vivian! I didn't fucking mean it! I was just... I think we all should take a step back and reevaluate. I just... I'm shocked. Oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know the bastard deserves it. He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Good. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. Okay. <sighs> You wanna finish me off now? Not really. I'm I'm kinda good. Wanna... Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Oh, rip my this. limbs off one by one. <laughs> That's what you wanna do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, alright. We both know how this ends. <laughs> just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> Let's not draw this out. I feel like that's probably merciful. I just... All right, Georgie. Later. <laughs> Can we leave? I just don't want to be here anymore. Oh, goodness. Well, goodness gracious. And it's lights out on the pudding pie. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end it there. That was um, event filled. <laughs> That was a lot. Um, 
yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode um hopefully the very next thing we do is go and like get the crooked man um because i mean this is just getting like wilder and wilder and i'm like too many there are too many casualties happening anyway <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this episode, this crazy episode. Um, please leave a like if you did and comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the game or um, just say hi. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.